Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the high contrast black and white look of graphic novel comic book illustrations. You can combine images if you like. I downloaded the robot and the alien landscape separately from Shutterstock and then placed them together. To ensure that your results will look similar to mine, go to Image and Image Size. Make its height between 800 and 1000 pixels and its resolution 72 pixels per inch. Its width doesn't matter. We'll convert the image into a smart object so we can modify it non destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Sharpen, and Smart Sharpen. Smart Sharpen controls the amount of sharpening that occurs in shadows and highlights. Make the amount 500%. Make the radius 6 pixels. Reduce Noise is in version CC only. It reduces unwanted noise while keeping important edges unaffected. If you're using Photoshop CC, make it 0. Keep in mind, since we're affecting a smart object, we can adjust or modify all the filters that we'll be adding to it at any time. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Sketch folder and click Halftone Pattern. Make the pattern type Line, the size 1, and the contrast 10. Click the Add Filter icon and click Torn Edges. I'll make the image balance 31, the smoothness 15, and the contrast 3. If you want to darken your image, increase the amount in image balance. If you want to brighten it, decrease the amount. Click the Add Filter icon again, and this time open the Texture folder and click Texturizer. The light is from the top, the relief is 5, the scaling is 100%, and the texture is sandstone. In this particular example, I'd like to add more detail to the robot. If you want to adjust an area of your image, make a copy of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Double click Filter Gallery of the copy to open it, and click Torn Edges. Increase or decrease the amount in image balance until you like the amount of detail in that particular area. Don't be concerned about the other areas, we'll take care of those in a moment. To save space in the Layers panel, let's collapse the effects. Control click or command click the layer mask icon to make an inverted layer mask next to the copy. We'll reveal the more detailed robot in this layer by brushing in white over the layer mask. To do this, open your pencil tool and pencil picker. I'll make its size temporarily 70 pixels, but feel free to adjust the amount. Its hardness and opacity should both be 100%. Then press Enter or Return. You can adjust the size of your pencil by pressing the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. I'll draw over the robot to reveal it through the layer mask. Double click the smart object next to it to open its source image. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your rectangular marquee tool and draw a rectangle over the corner of your image. We'll fill the selection with white, and since your background color is white, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. Next, we'll add a white border along the edges. 
unlock the background, and double click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Stroke. If the color box isn't white, click it, and when the color picker opens, pick white. The size is 20 pixels, and the position is inside. Click the small X to close the PSB tab, and when you see this message, click Yes to accept the changes. Open your horizontal type tool and pick a cartoon font. I'm using Comica Display Caps Regular. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link in my video's description below or project files. I'll make its size 67 points. Feel free to adjust this amount based on the font you use and the amount of characters in your text. I'll make its anti-aliasing sharp, the alignment centered, and the color should be black. Click on your document and type out your text. To reposition it, open your Move tool and move it. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.